Alabama running back Damian Harris is one of the top players at his position in the 2019 NFL Draft class, and he currently projects to be a late first round or early second round pick in April. The New England Patriots almost certainly won't use their 2019 first round pick on a running back after selecting Sony Michel at number 31 overall last year. Michel played very well in his first season and set a rookie playoff record with six rushing touchdowns, including the only TD in New England's Super Bowl 53 win over the Los Angeles Rams. However, if Harris were to fall in the draft or if the Patriots saw value in taking him, it wouldn't hurt to consider taking the talented running back. And judging by his comments Thursday at the 2019 NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis, it sounds like he'd welcome getting drafted by Bill Belichick. The Patriots are obviously a great organization, Harris told reporters. People like to compare them to Alabama. Coach Belichick and Coach Nick Saban, everybody knows they're great friends. People like to think they run their programs the same, so that would be an easy fit for any guy that's come out of Alabama. It would be an easy transition, yeah I don't know. Hopefully I get a chance to meet with them just like all the other 31 teams, Harris ran for 878 yards, 5.8 per carry, with 9 rushing touchdowns, in addition to 22 receptions for 204 receiving yards. He averaged more than 4 yards per carry in Alabama's final three games, the SEC Championship game plus two college football playoff matchups. Harris would be a good fit in the Patriots' offense, but they have more pressing needs than running back, including tight end, wide receiver and a few positions on defense. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. On Thursday, Patriots owner Robert Kraft pleaded not guilty to soliciting prostitution at a spa in Jupiter, Florida. So what does that mean for Kraft going forward? Options for Pats to bulk up interior D-line? Michael Coyne, Dean at Massachusetts School of Law, broke down Kraft's plea on Arbella early edition and discussed the reasoning behind his decision, as well as what it could mean for his trial going forward. The likelihood as he will never appear in court, said Coyne. I think he's setting it up so he can participate in a diversion program, which will require an educational program, a fine, and likely never require him to appear in court. It's just part of the procedural process, you plead not guilty to keep your options open, he continued. It doesn't mean he didn't do it doesn't mean that he expects to go to trial. What it means is this gives them some time to work out any arrangement. He may well take this matter to trial, but this allows him to participate. First-time offenders often are eligible for a diversion program. If you plead guilty, then that just means we'll proceed to the sentencing phase. The not guilty allows him to participate in this diversion program likely, which then means that these charges at the end of it, if he does participate in this program, will actually be expunged. It'll be equivalent to him never having been charged. And I think what'll happen is if he is able to do that before the video is released, then he's free of the justice system and there will be less attention being paid to the video at that point. There will still be some, but it'll be really a blip on the radar screen as opposed to prolonging it over the course of the next 12 to 18 months, see what Coin had to say in the video above. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Patriots character coach Jack Easterby is leaving the team after six seasons, NBC Sports Boston's Patriots insider Phil Perry confirms. While Easterby may not be a household name, he has been an integral part of the Patriots organization and a favorite among players. According to the Boston Globe, Patriots owner Robert Kraft's charges for soliciting prostitution didn't sit well with Easterby and played a role in his decision to part ways with the team. The Globe's report states Easterby will pursue opportunities with other NFL teams. Before Super Bowl 53, Patriots captain Matthew Slater described Easterby's impact on the team. 
I think it's important as men that you have something that grounds you, something that's bigger than the game of football, Slater said. And for many of the men in this locker room, Jack's opened eyes to things that are greater. Obviously, for many of us that's faith in Jesus Christ. But he has really caused guys to think about things differently. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.